Hi guys, welcome to another QGIS tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to work on automating processes in QGIS using the graphical modeler or the model builder. Uh, model builder is the name they use for this in ArcGIS and QGIS is called the graphical modeler. But what it allows you to do is take inputs, run them through algorithms, and create outputs. And so what I have here is a simple model I've created. Um, if you've worked with the, the plugin class with creating uh, Python plugins for QGIS, this is the same thing the buffer clip plugin does. Pretty simple, we take a vector input, a buffer distance, and the raster to clip. We buffer the input vector and we clip the raster to create an output. Um, so to show you what we have here, I have a streams layer, that's my input vector. I have a DEM behind it. If I click run here, it's going to bring up this buffer distance and I'm going to say I want to do 50 meters. The raster to clip is going to be the DEM. The input is the stream order. I'll save to a temp file. I'll click run. It's going to take just a sec to go here. You can see it added an output. I'll click close. I'll turn this DEM off, and you can see now this output is within 50 meters of streams. So that's the plugin we're working with today. Um, we're going to walk through exactly how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll turn these layers back on. And I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this processing plugin so we can start from start fresh. All right. So to open the graphical modeler, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the processing tab and we're going to open graphical modeler. And that brings up um, this processing modeler here, which allows us to ac access algorithms and inputs. Okay. So I'm just going to put buffer clip as my name and I'm going to put test as the group. And let's just take a look at some things here. So if you hover over these, um, you can see the different options. This will save the model in the project. You can, um, this button here will allow you to export as a Python script, export an image um, of your model, a PDF, or an SVG. Um, you can make model documentation here, and this is where you run your model. Okay, so simple enough. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, you'll notice there are two tabs here. There's an inputs tab and an algorithms tab. The algorithms are going to have the operations you can perform on your inputs. So let's start out with the inputs. Now for this, I'm going to need three inputs. I'm going to need first the vector layer, and this is going to be my input layer. Um, that's going to get buffered then clipped. Um, because it's going to be buffered, we do need to have a geometry, but we can have any geometry type. And we need this to be mandatory. So we'll click OK, and that adds an input vector layer. The other thing I need is I'm going to need a number, and this number is going to be the buffer distance. So let's go ahead and put in a number. And this is going to be buffer distance, and it's going to be in map units. Just make a note there. We don't need to have any min or max here. We'll just click OK. Another thing we could try is we have this distance one here, right? And so we could do the same thing, and it could have a value there. I'm going to just click Cancel on this. We'll just use a number for this one for now. OK, and now I need a raster layer. And we'll just name this raster to clip. All right. OK, so as you can see, there are a lot of other input options. You can choose a field from a vector layer. You can choose a feature, a string. You can choose a single band from a raster. There are a lot of different inputs you can use here. You can use a Boolean value, which will just be a checkbox. You can specify a coordinate reference system. So that you have a lot of options and a lot of power in this. Okay, so once I have my inputs laid out, now I want to focus on the algorithms I'm going to use. And so I can come down to algorithms to the algorithms tab here, and this will switch me over to all the algorithms available in QGIS. Now, the first thing I want to do is buffer my input. I'm going to type in buffer, and I have a QGIS thing here. I have a lot of different 
um, options for for buffers here. We're just going to use this basic buffer tool. I'm going to pull that in. I have my input vector layer set as the input. If you don't, you can drop this down and choose something else. It should be automatic. Now here the death distance is set to a number, but I want to have this as an input parameter. So let's click on this thing over here where it says value and change this to model input. And as you can see, it automatically selects buffer distance. Okay, so we're good to go there. Um, I'm going to leave this default here. Oh, I'm going to change the dissolve result to yes. You can actually put a checkbox in your model to do that. So why don't we actually go ahead and do that? We'll, we'll just, uh, we'll say no for now. We'll come back and fix this in a minute. Okay, and this is not the final result, so we're not going to enter any name. We're just going to click OK. And you can see it adds this buffer algorithm in there. So like I said, we wanted to maybe add an input to determine if we wanted to dissolve or not. So let's go to a Boolean and pull that in. Dissolve buffer output. And we're going to head, we're going to select check. That means that by default it will be true. And we'll click OK. And then we should come in and click these dots here to edit this. And we're going to come down, dissolve result, model input. We don't want buffer distance. We want dissolve buffer output. Okay. And now we'll click OK. And we should be set to go there. So we'll just drag these over, kind of group these things all together here, make them look nice. Okay. Now that we have our buffer that's going to be created, the next thing we need to do is we just need to clip that, clip the raster with the buffer. So we'll come back down to the algorithms tab here. And now I need to look for a clip tool. Okay. And this is going to be a vector. Um, it's going to be extract clip by extent. This one might work, but I know this one works. Clip raster by mask layer, the GDAL raster extraction. So I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and pull that one in. Okay, so my input layer is the raster to clip. My mask layer is the input vector layer, so we're set there. I can leave defaults for most of this. And I'm going to say keep the resolution of the input raster. I'm going to say yes. So that will give me the same cell resolution. All right. And this is my final output. So I am going to just name this uh, clipped raster output. And I also want to select the parent algorithm here. So what this parent algorithm does, um, it lets this algorithm know which other algorithms need to finish or which algorithm needs to finish before it can run. And so we need to make sure that buffer is done before this runs, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so now we've selected that and we can click OK. And here is our clip raster output. I'll just pull this over here a little bit. Okay. Oh, and so see what see what's happened here. We have an input vector layer that's going into this, and we only need the buffer to go into that. So let's go and fix that. Click on the dots. So our mask layer is going to be buffered from algorithm buffer. That's what we want. OK. And let's click OK. Uh, better. Now we only have the buffer going into that, which is what we want. Okay, so we've got that there, got that there. We'll just drag this out so we can arrange these things a little bit so they're nice. Okay, so there's our model. Now we can go ahead and click run and see if this thing works. See if this thing works. So we want to dissolve the buffer output. We're going to make our buffer distance. We'll make it, oh, let's do 50 meters again. Okay, stream order is our input. DEM is our input raster. And we'll just save it to, to a temp file and let's click run. And we can click close. 
and we can oh, let's keep that one on let's turn DEM off and there you go you can see that within 50 meters we have kept the raster only within 50 meters and so we successfully run that okay good deal let's open that back up I'm just clicking on the tab on the bottom of my toolbar and let's go ahead and we'll just click save model and then we can choose a spot to save it and that will allow us to load this processing model up in the future I'm not actually going to save it here because this is something that I already made a plugin for and it's a pretty simple thing but we did this simple just to illustrate to you how you can do this on your own um, you can get these things pretty complicated um, to really make some use out of the automation so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful for understanding how to use the graphical modeler or model builder. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you want me to work out a more advanced example, please let me know and maybe give me some ideas and we can see about doing that in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, always glad to hear your questions and hope you guys have a great day.